Welcome to Simple Watch Talks. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the Casio SGW100 user manual. So how to set the features, how to change the time, and also how to calibrate the compass and the temperature readings. Before we start, I would like to thank everyone who has viewed my videos, who has left likes, who had left comments. All the feedback you guys are leaving is very precious. So thank you so much for that. I'll leave timestamps in the video description for you to be able to jump to any feature you'd like to set or change. To start, we are in the timekeeping mode. So the first thing you would like to do when you receive this watch is to change the time or to set the time. And to do that, you need to long press the A button or the adjust button until the city starts flashing. So here you can change the city or time zone. And to do that, you press the D button to go east and you press the B button to go uh, west. Once you've done that, you need to press the mode or C button once. And this is going to allow you to enable or disable the daylight saving time. And to do that, you need to press the D button. The daylight saving time is on, the D button is off. Once that's done, you need to press the C button again. Now you can switch between 12 hour and 24 hour format. When you press the C button again, here you can change the time, date, uh, month, and so on. You can actually hack seconds by pressing the D button. Once when the seconds are flashing, it's gonna go back to zero. By pressing the C button, you'll be able to uh, change the hour. You can do that using the D and B button again. Minutes, year, month, and day. The cool thing is that you only have to do this once because this watch has automatic calendar until 2099. Once done from this screen, you need to press the C button again, and here you will be able to change the temperature unit. And to do that, you need to press the D button to change between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Once that's done, you need to press the C button again, and you're back to the home screen. A simple press of the A button, and you exit the adjustment screen. To go to the wall time from the timekeeping mode, you need to press the C button once, and here you can scroll between time zones using the D button. So you can only go east. At the same time, your local time zone will still show at the top left corner. So this screen is very useful if you want to keep an eye on two time zones at the same time. Pressing the C button will get you to the stopwatch. To start the stopwatch, you need to press the D button. If you want to record a split, you need to press the A button once and then it shows SPL or split. You will still see your local time zone at the top left. If you want to go back to the stopwatch, you need to press the A button. If you'd like to stop it, you need to press the D button again and to reset A button. To go to the countdown timer from the timekeeping mode, you need to press the C button three times. You can adjust the timer by long pressing the A button or the adjust button. And here you will see that the hour starts blinking, so you can change uh, using the D or the B button. Pressing the C button again and you'll be able to change the minutes. Once it's all changed, you can press the A button. And to start the timer, you need to press the D button. If you want to stop it or pause it, you need to press the D button again. And to reset, you need to press the A button. To go to the alarm screen from the timekeeping mode, you need to press the C button four times. Once you are in the alarm screen, you'll be able to scroll through all the alarms using the D button here. To adjust the alarm, you select the alarm you want and you need to long press the A button until the hour starts blinking here you can change the hour by pressing the c button you can also change the minutes once that's done you can press the a button to exit the uh, change screen one press of the a button allows you to activate or deactivate the alarm of course as this is a casio it has an hourly time signal and to access that from the alarm screen you need to press the d button until you see Sig to activate the hourly time signal you can press the a button once and it's on to enable or disable the button sound from timekeeping mode, you need to long press the C button. And to disable it, you need to do the same thing by long pressing this button until you hear the beep. To start a direction reading or temperature reading, you need to press the D button. So the watch will give you the temperature here and also the direction of the north using this arrow. To calibrate the temperature reading, you need to press the A button and then press the C button twice. And here you can increase or decrease the temperature. You will need to use an external thermometer to adjust it. Once it's done, you can press the A button and the watch is going to take another reading. To calibrate the compass sensor, you need to remove the watch from your wrist and put it on a flat surface. You need to go to the compass mode, long press the A button. Once you see Cal here, you need to press the D button. The arrows will start blinking and the goal is to always make the last arrow point away from you. To do that, you need to keep turning the watch counterclockwise. Once you've done that twice, you need to press the C button and it will show you done for a second and then it will show a reading of the direction and the temperature. To exit the compass mode, you need to press the C button. And that's it. These are all the features or adjustments you can make on the Casio HDW100. If this video was informative, please leave a like and consider subscribing. And thank you so much for watching.